Hello everybody, this is Tim from Boatshed Yacht Brokers and welcome on board, or nearly on board, this Quicksilver 855 from 2018 for a quick look around her interior to give you an idea of her layout, what's fitted and if she might be the boat for you. So we're looking at the stern, as you can see we've got a really nice wide and quite lengthy swim platform there with a swim ladder inlaid which is great and if you step on board we can see we've got a really nice companionway, very nice and easy to get through which brings us straight into the cockpit so i'll just uh, come in turn around and close the door there we go very nice and easy so uh, a bit more secure for the kids and the dogs although there is a little bit of a gap underneath but never mind um as we look in the cockpit we can see we're inside a lovely great big cockpit tent looks in good order as well there we go there's a bit of a close-up We've got lovely great big windows, they roll up, so we've got all sorts of flexibility here. Uh, so we can sit here in the sun and the rain, or if you want the wind in our hair, we can just take it all away or roll it up and have lots of fun. Now the seating on this boat is incredibly flexible. There are all sorts of different ways, so I'll probably forget uh, the, the complete variation of what you can do. But uh, if we have a quick look, we can see we've got uh, really nice upholstery and very good nick. We've got the Quicksilver motif there. And uh, just looking at the back here, it looks like the, the back here is uh, reclinable as well. And this whole unit does in fact move forwards we just unclip here and one at the port side pull it all forwards which gives us access to another engine cover at the back there so we can see the top and the back of the engine and then when we finish we just clip it all back into place job done i think we have a locker under here as well and a locker under the start the port side there really really clever way of making lots of use of space as you can see we've got a nice big cockpit table here i'll just uh, step back so we can see it that does dismantle and put away if you don't want it but if you do want to uh, drop it down and make it into a nice big beach club kind of uh, sunbed here we can do that as well and as you can see that is inset into the aft cover of the two covers that give us access to the forward part of the engine batteries electrics fuel tank etc etc really nice design flooring looks good and uh, we have lots of space etc for reclining and enjoying ourselves we have a nice cockpit locker on the starboard side here we've got access to the fuel shut-off valve the windless uh, breaker the main breaker all sorts of other bits and pieces as well nice to get it nice and easy to get at rod holder and then nice access to the starboard deck there the same on the port deck we just undo these buttons undo the zip and we can get our way through there no problem at all just notice how deep this combing is here as well so it does feel nice and safe out there fantastic we have handles port and starboard as well so nice and easy to get uh, around and we're feeling nice and safe and if you just look across at the port side we can see pretty much a mirror of the starboard side but lots and lots of room and it all seems really nice and clean above us we have nice stowage for the boat hook we've got uh, stereo speakers port and starboard and uh, some nice lights fitted into the deck head there as well so we're uh, feeling rather special now before we go inside let's take a look at the companion way really really nice very wide and open so we're feeling like the outside's in the inside's out etc so we're we kind of joined up when we want to be but if you want to close the cold out then we've got this uh, three-part french window set here there we go the rain and the wind is kept outside or the uh, the guests that you don't like are stuck outside while we're inside in the warm so very very nice slides back really easily one finger there we go and uh once it's back there, it's nice and out of the way, unencumbering anything. Very nice. So let's have a look inside, shall we? We'll start on the starboard side. Before we go any further, let's notice the big windows everywhere. We've got a great, huge, great big screen up forward and windows port and starboard. We've got, we've got an opening window on the port side. We've got an opening door on the or hatchway on the starboard side there. So uh, really, really great for your communications and watch keeping at sea. And if you're sitting in the helm position, you can see you've got great view all the way around this boat, just apart from this pillar here, which is structural. So we'll forgive them for that not a problem fusion stereo fitted out of the way here very nice indeed looking at the headlining very clean very easy to clean as well so there's no saggy headlining etc lovely great big hatch that uh, opens and, and basically slides back and gives us uh, air in our hair and if you just look down we can see that we've got uh, lovely flooring and on the starboard side we have a lovely galley behind the galley unit we've got a bit of a stowage here and if we just lift the lid we can see very conveniently We've got a, a two burner uh, gas cooker there. The, the gas bottle stored underneath the deck here. And uh, it's very, very nice and economic, I think. Uh, sorry, ergonomic, I should say. And we've got a nice folding up tap here with a sink below. There we go, so we can fold the tap out, do our washing up, etc. But let's put that back in the way so we can drop the lid. 
nice and ergonomic because it's near the cockpit and it's also near the saloon table. So when we're passing uh, dishes, plates, backwards and forwards, etc., it should be nice and easy. And also we can see that the fridge here, also very nice and clean, that's inset underneath the galley. And again, really easy to pass drinks out and back again. Very good. Beneath uh, all of that as well, we have a, a small microwave and a drawer, etc. But all in all, very nice galley units. And uh, while you're doing your washing up, cooking, etc., you've even got a great view from the side window as well. How lovely is that? Carrying along on the starboard side, you can see we come to the helm position, and this is uh, pretty much a helm position to be envious of, I think. We've got a lovely looking seat here. We've got a moving bolster, so if you want to stand up and, uh, and stay, if I can do it with one hand. There we go, we've got the bolster up, so you can stand here, rest your bum or your back against here, and if you want to, if you're a little bit shorter, then you can always put this uh, section down here like that, and you can raise your height too, very nice indeed. And if you are sitting in the seat with the bolster down, then obviously we can see we've got a nice footrest there as well. So really, really flexible for lots of people. Oops, sorry. Um, around the boat, in this compartment, we've got curtains for all of the windows, I think. Most of them are taken down at the moment. We've got a nice floor-to-ceiling one here for the door, and uh, obviously I mentioned the door here which gives us great access to the starboard side or if you just want to pull it open and shout at the crew who, who are pulling you alongside you can do that as well very nice indeed the uh, actual helm console does look uh, nice and space age we've got all sorts of modern stuff here if I just lift this cover here you can see we've got a nice uh, chart plotter there Wearing away we've got the electrics controls we've got the bow thruster controls windless up and down the uh, the, uh, the, the search light up there, which can be controlled down here. And if we just come down a little bit, we can see we've got uh, engine speed, we, sorry, boat speed, we've got engine speed. We can see that we've got approximately 255 hours according to this uh, gauge on the engine, which is nice. We've got the trim tab controls here. And over on the, uh, the really rather lovely looking uh, throttle here, <laughs> A piece of artwork in itself we can raise a leg up and down we can start and stop from here and we've got all sorts of other bits and pieces here which is uh, going to give us all that uh, finite control that we want very nice indeed so i'll just uh, turn all of that off for now that's an alarm going off from another boat but as you can see very very nice very ergonomic great view all around and effectively a really really lovely helm seat we even have a couple of uh, very nice cup holders here too so uh, just coming back out of the boat, I'll just reverse backwards. Here we go. We can see that we've got the saloon on the port side here. Very, very nice area. We've got windows all around us. We have an opening window up here and we have seating two, two facing forwards, two back and a very nice saloon table, which does fold in half if we need to, if we need a little bit more space and the saloon table in the middle as well both on a raised plinth note the nice flooring too and it is very flexible we have storage beneath the seats as well but if we want to just to note that the the uh, saloon table just fold out to give us a nice big one if you want to we can actually fold that in half and we can reverse the uh, the position of the seats here so we can move it aft take the seat rest and place it at the back and we can have two forward facing seats here as well as two forward facing seats here and if you want that little bit more flexibility we can also configure it so the table does drop down and we can make this into a nice double bed in the saloon all of this all this variety and variations that you can create on this boat make her very very flexible should you be taking family friends kids etc and uh, she does seem extra nice extra clean and uh, she seems really well put together as well so uh, let's have a little look around down below shall we you can see we have a really nice and easy to traverse couple of steps down here we have some bilge access access there below that plate and uh, generally a small lobby but let's take a look on the, the starboard side first as we come down a little bit tight to open the door if we are down here but so i think i'd probably open the door halfway down but once we do we can see we're into the heads compartment and very nice it is too very nice and clean looking we've got lots of uh, nice shot nice uh, shallow radiuses here that we can uh, clean very easily we've got an opening window there we have two windows at low level which is handy as well here we've got the the electric head so uh, this is this cover is for if we want to sit down while we're having a shower etc should we be at sea if not uh, then we can raise it out of the way and uh, um, use the toilet as you can see there we go 
And on the port side here, you can see you've got a nice sink unit with a shower head unit. This just pulls out, so there we go, and uh, clips in somewhere, and that gives us our shower. So uh, all, no expenses spared. I nearly said all expenses spared there. So really, really nice and handy. And then underneath the sink here, as you can see, nice little locker for all your bits and pieces. And uh, behind the sink, we do have uh, forward and aft sliding doors as well, mirrored too. So we've got uh, the appearance of lots of space in this compartment, very nice indeed. So I'm just going to step up out of the way, close the door to the head. There we go, nice and easy. Back down and into the main forward cabin. So there we can see we've got a lovely double full island berth. We've got steps up to the port and starboard side of it. So hop up, one, two, and you're in. We've got a TV fitted to this boat on the starboard side, which is nice. Looking up again, very nice plain gel coat ceilings or deck heads or bulkheads, all very nice and easy to, to clean if you want. Radius again, so uh, no uh, sharp corners for the mildew to grow in. Lovely. Uh, we have uh, windows along the starboard side on the port side both open as well here as well so we can let get ventilation in nice fiddled shelf on the outboard side both sides and uh, feeling really rather nice with this kind of luxury feel there uh, upholstery here as there is over at the the headboard there with an in fitted mirror above us we've got a hatch there so that uh, both serves to let light and air in and air out, but also an escape hatch should we ever need one. And then following around onto the port side, again, you can see we've got that nice shelf and the two steps up onto the bed and inset into the port bulkhead here. And it's very nice wood, I have to say, it looks very modern, very chic. We have got this, uh, we've got uh, a nice sort of um, hanging locker here for all your hanging bits and pieces. Very good. So let's uh, finish off with the last compartment. This uh, door opens inwards and you'll see we're going into the aft cabin. We've got a nice little lobby here as well so we can get in there, close the door behind us and uh, change if you want to in a little bit of privacy. We've got a nice locker here with, uh, with, with shelves in, there we go. And a little bit of fiddle storage on top. And if you just look up, you can see that we've got a nice uh, hatch up there which lets light into this compartment too, very nice. Inside, as you step in, you've got a nice little seat there for uh, sitting and pulling your wellies on, etc., etc. And on the outboard side here, we've got a nice window. And uh, I do love it when we get windows like this because we're just looking down at the sea. It's absolutely lovely. I think that's what part of what boating's about, very nice. Uh, we have a shelf behind and we've got a nice headboard here. And as you can see, we've got a nice, wide, very long double bed. It really is a long double bed. And uh, behind those two covers down there, we have the calorifier, we have the battery charger, a few of the battery, uh, a few of the electrical bits and pieces. Quite low, as you can see, because the uh, the saloon, the saloon uh, walkway is above us. But uh, generally speaking, you would only have your feet or knees and below down there so not too much of a problem but obviously if you're in this bed here then the occupant who's over there will probably have to climb over this occupant or uh, or that occupant might have to get in first but nevertheless you'll be in here you'll be sleeping i think there's room here to sit and read as well we've got a light above there as well so uh, all feeling quite nice and very luxurious and again really nice and clean we like so this was tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers, taking you for a quick tour around the interior and cockpits of this very, very nice looking Quicksilver 855 Weekender from 2018. If you like her, or if you'd like to have any more information about her, or if you'd like to come and see her, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos, and virtual reality. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.